Allie here and welcome back to Fab Little Dish, your cozy little nook for all things home decor and so much more. And welcome if this is your first time joining us. I am thrilled to have you all here today because I have something really fun in store for you all. We are going to be going right to Paris and getting our berets on and getting seven tips on how we can incorporate Parisian style easily into our own home decor. So that is why I'm here to help you with today and I'm really excited to do so because if you know my style you know I am all about anything that is French influenced, English countryside, French cottage, shabby chic, regency, all of that. It's just my heart and soul and it, I really feel like in another life I must have lived in France or something because I just love it so much and just the style it just makes me just it transports me to somewhere else and I think that's why I love it so much just because it is like a story I feel like I'm in a storybook so if you love everything French decor and you want to find some easy ways to incorporate Parisian style into your own homes then you are in the right place so go ahead and get your berets on and let's dig in to these seven tips on how you can get the Parisian style in your homes. I'm here with my little Parisian co-worker here who wanted to be present for the tips on how to get Parisian style in your homes. <laughs> Penny lives it every day. So my first tip is to do anything gilded gold gold accents gold detailing that is such an emphasis in parisian decor in french inspired decor it is everything i cannot emphasize that enough you can have gold details and accents on your furniture on your walls on little knickknacks little timeless pieces that you find thrifting or at estate sales you can in your in your frames, in anything. Gilded gold mirrors are everything. That is an easy and beautiful way to incorporate a Parisian look in your homes. And I really love the ones from Anthropology. I have one in my bedroom and I have one out in my living room too, the big tall floor one. And I love that mirror. It makes the space look so much grandeur and larger also. So there's just so many things you can do. You can even spray paint things a metallic gold. There's lots of inexpensive stuff that you can find thrifting. Just look for little knickknacks or frames really. Uh, I, I find them all the time. So I know you can too, I promise. And my second tip is florals everything. So anything florals, you can do floral wallpaper, floral um, curtains, faux florals, real florals, dried flower arrangements, paintings of flowers, or you can put some beautiful textiles out, some, some shabby chic comforters, any kind of pillows. There's so many ways that you can incorporate florals into your decor and you need to. I mean, it is a must because this is such a feminine, style that requires that touch of florals and there's just something about florals and I like to mix different flowers. I, I prefer faux arrangements that really look real and I like to mix different colors. I don't kind of go for a, a main color scheme but uh, when it comes to florals at least because I do have some blues some rich colors that I bring in with creams and then I of course bring in the pastels and and in general I love the pastel colors for this theme, but I didn't want to use that as a tip because it could, I really think that you can use any color scheme that you want and you can make it with these tips. So with gilded gold accented things, <laughs> anything gold, anything floral, those tips alone are getting you into that Parisian style home already. And my third tip is one of my favorites, and that is oil paintings. I have been collecting and curating different oil paintings since I was a teenager and started thrifting. They are everywhere, so I assure you, you can get some really great pieces on a budget if you go to estate sales especially. 
on that last day, uh, you could nab some really good things because people are just trying to get rid of it. So garage sales, online, you can if there's something specific you want, you can even print out really well-known paintings and put them, you can print them on canvas and then put them in a pretty frame. That is a good tip as well. Uh, but you can, I, I prefer to do actual oil paintings and have as many of them as you can. And if you've seen my other decorate with me videos, especially my living room where I just have, they're everywhere. <laughs> you know how much I love these. They just really create a timeless vintage touch and they really tell a story behind them as well. I was an art history minor in college, so it really just, Art just speaks to me and makes me feel happy. And I like to surround myself with all kinds of different pieces that make me happy. So you can do florals, you can do portraits, anything pastorals, la landscapes, um, anything of Paris itself or in French countryside or anything from Europe, that is a great touch to do. So there's just, there's, there's so many different ways that you can incorporate it and you need to because it'll just it'll give you the vintage touch alone and that is really important to this style. My fourth tip is any vintage furniture but more specifically French provincial style furniture. So when I am hunting for any kind of specific pieces, I go on Facebook marketplace or looking for estate sales, I will type in French provincial furniture and I will get a ton of different things that match exactly what I'm talking about. And I think my favorite piece is my lingerie chest, which is behind me. And I got that when I was living in Portland. I, I remember I drove pretty far for it because it was a good deal. I don't know if it was after the gas I spent, but it is what it is. And I repainted it because it was kind of trashed and just really gave it some love. And it is my, it's one of my favorite things in my room. And it's a really easy way to bring in color is by painting an old piece of furniture. So anything French provincial, anything that has that vintage timeless elegance now a lot of people too myself included are kind of incorporate modern pieces of furniture too i have my vanity slash desk over here and it's pink from anthropology and it's it's modern but it just goes with the parisian look it really picks up on because of that it because it's pastel pink and just how it looks with that mirror i i'm obsessed with it and i think that any Anyone in France would probably agree, I would hope. <laughs> Let me know if there's anyone that is watching this that disagrees. I just think that that is a, par a Parisian look. So that is a great tip and you can get that, again, cheap um, or you can get it expensive or you can just mix it up. So that is a, that's my, that's my, that's my next big tip. My fifth tip is embrace textures, patterns, fabrics, all kinds of different elements to really elevate the space. So you can incorporate that through having different linens. Linens are huge for French people. My grandma is French. I should have said that earlier on. I'm not, I, th that's how I know a lot of this stuff. <laughs> she has passed it to me and has told me these things and I, it's just in my brain and that's probably why I love French inspired decor so much because uh, my grandma is so near and dear to my heart. But she really taught me that linens are such a passion for the, for the French. And I have grown to develop just such a strong appreciation for the art of linens, I feel. And she, I mean, I have to fold them in a certain way when I'm around. I'm nervous to fold linens around my grandmother because she ha it has to be done in a certain way and take your time and fold every crease. And it's it's an art, I, I will say, and it takes patience, but it also just, just taking care of them as well over time. And I think that is another fun find at estate sales is when you find a beautiful linen closet or chest just full of all of these things that have been just cherished uh, and handed down maybe even. I know I have some of my grandma's doilies that I love and, and I always will love and just different things she's knitted for me over time. So you can really incorporate textiles in so many different ways. Linens, absolutely. Um, you can put floral, shabby chic floral linens, 
that I love this. I got this from Walmart years ago and it has held up. I actually have two of them, so because I love it that much <laughs> and because I have a dog. And uh, different fabrics, different patterns that you can put on your bed through pillows, through uh, tablecloths, through runners that you want to put on your dresser, even in your bedroom curtains. There's so many different ways to embrace it. Lace is huge. Linen is huge. Toile is a great print and just anything that really florals, anything that makes you feel like you are on the countryside and you are just kind of enjoying that Parisian relaxed lifestyle. <laughs> anything that makes you feel good and you want to make sure just to get the colors too that all kind of complement one another to bring all of the styles that you have out together. And my sixth tip is to find carefully curated vintage knickknacks. So you can get these anywhere, thrift stores, garage sales, things at your grandma's house, <laughs> which I have a lot of, um, or estate sales. Estate sales are actually my favorite thing for this because especially if you stumble across a china cabinet full of all of these different treasures, that somebody felt worthy enough to display, that really tells me that these things hold meaning and stories and value. So it really, just anything timeless, this is where you can pull in your unique taste in things that you really like, and you can display them in little knickknack shelves or on the walls, <laughs> on bookcases, and just kind of anywhere. But I would do it in a, in a way that you aren't overwhelmed. And I know that this is a maximalist style, so don't be scared to hold back and get as many things as you want, but the, as you're styling them, make sure that you're spacing things out so that you can take everything in is what I mean. You wanna make sure that each piece gets its time to shine. And if you have too much out, then just pack some away and swap it out and, and change things out. That's what I like to do. So that is my sixth tip. <laughs> My seventh tip is to cover the walls, and I mean that. So if you have high ceilings, put paintings from top to bottom, <laughs> put gilded gold accents on the wall, wainscoting, wallpapering, bordering, paintings, hanging plates up, hanging anything up. I mean, just obviously, you know, do it in a way that is tasteful, <laughs> but it can be completely overdone and over the top and should be. That is what the Versailles style is just all about, is that opulence, that elegance, that over the topness that you're just in awe of. And I just love it. I love it all so much. It makes me feel like a princess and I just, I am obsessed. And I hope that these tips really helped. Uh, make sure to tune in to my decorate with me videos coming up because that last tip I just gave you, I'm going to be doing that a lot. I might even do a video where I am dedicating all the wall stuff I did because walls are everything to attaining this style. Walls, just making sure that they are covered and just elegant and timeless. So I hope that these tips helped you and make sure to tune into future videos so you can get inspired some more and like, share, subscribe if you already haven't. And just thank you so much for being on this little ride with me and I'm excited for our next adventure. Until next time, my friends, you stay lovely. Au revoir. <laughs>